And Elisha sent a messenger to him saying, go and wash in the Jordan seven times and your flesh will be restored to you and you will be clean. Elisha didn't even get up to go and greet him. Didn't even bother going to the door. How would you respond if you were in Naaman's position? Having such a great reputation and being so well known, how would that play out in Naaman's mind? First of all, it doesn't paint it out for us here, but Naaman would have to disrobe and he would have to show everybody how diseased he is. He would have to humble himself and bathe in front of everybody in dirty water. This man who is high up on the social scale. Verse 11, but Naaman was furious and went away and said, behold, I thought he will certainly come out to me, which he didn't, of course, and stand and call on the name of the Lord his God and wave his hand over the site and cure the leprosy. Are not Abana and Farpar, the rivers of Damascus, not better than all the waters of Israel? Could I not wash in them and be clean? So he turned and went away in a rage. He was furious. Why? This really hurt his pride. Certainly was not willing to humble himself to that degree. Verse 13, then his servants approached and spoke to him saying, my father, had the prophet told you to do some great thing, would you not have done it? How much more then when he says to you, wash and be clean? Just simple. It's not a great thing, but it's a very simple and easy thing. Well, of course, it wasn't easy for Naaman because of his pride. Basically, what happened here, the servants of Naaman broke his pride when they said this to him. Elisha sent a messenger to him. He already knew what was going on, and he already knew what Naaman needed. He needed to break his pride. Therefore, Elisha is not even going to pay attention to him much at all. So he just sent a little messenger to him and told him to do something that is very simple and not very extravagant. Naaman did that, dipped himself in the Jordan seven times in accordance with the word of the man of God, and his flesh was restored like the flesh of a little child, and he was clean.